So is this the story of your hats and mittens and gloves and all your winter wear? Well, there is an easier way. Even if you were to stuff it all in a basket and say you're more organized, how do you find what you need when you need it? How do you know when you need to wash them so that the kids have enough for school tomorrow? Hi, and welcome to Just 2020, where today we're going to be folding and organizing them into either bins, which will also work for drawers, so if you want to throw them on the top shelf in the closet. Or you could you put them into boxes that you have laying around the house to see if this is going to work for you before purchasing anything new. And you can see what you have easily, quickly, and put it away easily and quickly as well. Because storage solutions need to work for you and your home. We can, we can use Marie Kondo's Conway Method basic principles to know that we kind of want to make a square or a rectangle. We want to have it stand up on its own. Okay, so we're going to just fold them to fit this small area. We're going to start with the gloves. And you're just going to grab the thumb and either fold it inside, if it was if it is naturally that way, do that. And if not, then just line them up and just fold it in and then fold it over so that the waist, wrists are what it's going to kind of stand on. And this will fit into a tissue box. See, nice and simple. And you can see how big it is compared to maybe a, this is an adult as well. But you can see the different styles that they are, different fabrics and thicknesses. If you have different sizes and different fabrics, you'll see which ones are which. So you can tell the difference between you know, work gloves and kids' gloves, adults' gloves, your fuzzy ones, your, your thin ones, for even those teeny tiny little work gloves or gardening gloves. You might want to do an extra fold so that they keep their shape a little bit better and they fit in there. And even your exercise gloves. You can do it one fold or you could do it two folds to make them fit a little bit easier and to see which ones they are. But it will work both ways by either folding it over And then you can just grab what you need as you need it without causing too much of a disturbance. Even leather gloves or pleather, it will work. Just fold them in nicely. Don't fold them too tight, otherwise you're going to end up causing a lot of damage. But if they're just loosely sitting in the drawer or in the bin, they will look and work quite well. These are mittens with fingerless, but if you had ones that are with the whole hand, same thing applies. You can fold them into two or three, depending on the height you need. Now, if there are distinguishing details that show you which one is which, like this one, I can see the pattern, then that's a great way to store them to help you see what you have and what you need. And they can move easier if you need to pack up. So we have this little nice beanie hat. You're just going to fold it in half and then into three. And the reason I do this is so that you can see this detail here. And it does fit nicely into our tissue box. If it's a really thick one, it may not want to work right. And you can use this pattern for your benefit.
don't overstuff if you have different details make sure you show them off so that I can tell that this is a little headband thing and that is a hat especially details like this you know where If you had three hats that were white, at least you can see this one is different. Where this comes in handy, having a tissue box even inside of the big box, would be to show that these are all hats. And then these on the bottom are something else. You know, the headband thing. And you can just fold it into three. And it does stand up on its own. Woohoo! So we can have a small one, a bigger one, a nice red one. And we know what they are just by sight. Storing them away in the box is nice and easy if you categorize. You can see that I have all hats, earmuffs. Band things. If you needed to stack on top of each other, that you had more items that you wanted to fit into here, such as your fuzzy mittens, this would be an easy way to stack the new laundry or items that are used more often, less often, and have multiple items in one bin or in one drawer. So I hope this helps you. And I'd love it if you would subscribe, hit like, share with all your friends if you think they might want to get a little more organized. So have a great day. And happy Conmarie folding.